after stumbling across a suspicious scene. This was on a dark and deserted road in the Mississippi woods. Uh, he escaped with his life, but only after he was able to, to, to trigger some kind of button around his neck, releasing his canine officer from the back of his patrol car. So let's go live now to Jackson, Mississippi, to Therese Apel, uh, breaking news reporter at the Clear and Ledger. And Therese, first of all, welcome. Thanks for coming on. Thanks, Brooke. Thanks for having me. Let's set up the story because it's pretty incredible. Um, tell, set the scene for me. How did the ambush happen? How many people were involved? And then the canine. Well, Deputy Fraser was, as you said, on a dark road in the Mississippi woods, and he saw a car that had stopped on the side of the road, and all the lights were off. So he just stopped to, to do a welfare check on the driver. There was one man inside the car, and as he approached the car, two other men ran out of the woods, and um, as he started to backpedal, he fell, and all three of them jumped on top of him. Um, during this time, he was able to trigger the, the pop mechanism for the, the back of the car that had the canine officer in it, and the canine, whose name is Lucas, was able to get out and got a good chunk of at least one of the suspects before they got away. Um, the miracle of that, the sheriff told me, is that they have four canine officer units and only two of them have that pop mechanism. So had he been in one of the other ones, he potentially might not have been able to get away with his life. Thank goodness for the mechanism. Thank goodness for Lucas. So these guys run off. He, he you know, ends up, it sounds like, being okay. But, but bigger picture here, when you heard about this whole story, um, you were actually, as the, the, you know, breaking crime reporter in this part of the country, you were tracking a rash of, of gang violence, and specifically this gang order to, to shoot on sight any police officers these people encounter. Is that what, what happened in this case? Um, well, at this point, they're not, they're not openly saying that they know for sure that that's what it is. But um, since the two Hattiesburg officers were killed on May 9th, there have been multiple law enforcement bulletins warning other law enforcement that gangs have out orders to shoot or, or basically attack on site with law enforcement. And a few days before this happened, there was an officer shot in Jackson. And what started off is it appeared to be an altercation at a gas station, but the shots appeared to have come from across the street in an empty lot. So in all these cases, in the, in the bulletins, they had talked about how these things would be set up as potentially traffic stops or disturbance in progress or things like that. So law enforcement officers in Mississippi right now who are going to routine calls are having to be even more vigilant than ever because there actually is intelligence on the street among gang investigators that these, some of these gangs are looking to, um, to attack and kill police officers. 